Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Mahaney here at Blog Pause 2011, uh, representing I Love Dogs, and I'm here with some guys from Rescue Inc. I've got Big Ant here, and I've got Joe Pants. Um, I'm sure that everybody's familiar with the great work that Rescue Inc. does, but I want to just get a little background as to what's the origins of the organization before we even knew it from what it is in terms of the media force. Well, Rescue Inc. started off me, Big Ant, Johnny, and we're friends for a very long time. We're the guys, we're from Ozone Park, Queens. It's, it's a pretty rough part of town. And if you had a problem, you had nobody else to turn to, you'd come to us and we'd help you out. Uh, rescue Inc. back then was mainly, uh, not Rescue Inc., but rescue groups were mainly comprised of women back then. And they would come to us with all sorts of problems, and, and whether it's somebody abusing an animal, got abuse with them, and all kinds of rough situations. We would either go with them to make sure they're okay, or we would, uh, you know, talk to these people and uh, take care of the situation however we saw fit and then uh, we straightened it out. Sure. One rescue group told another rescue group, here we are. You know, like a lot of groups think they gotta go out and rescue 500 dogs right away to, to make a difference. But guess what? You rescue one dog, you've made a difference in that dog's life and, and whoever adopts that dog, you're helping them too. So just one dog makes a difference. Uh, we've got, we, yeah, we, we cats. We've got into a lot of situations where we've spent a lot of time trying to rescue one animal, whether it be a dog, a cat, a pig, uh, you know, a horse, and you know, somebody turned around and always says, you know, you spent all this time trying to rescue that one animal. Did you really make a difference? And we always say, yeah, it made a difference to that animal. You know, if you're in a really bad situation. Would you like us to come rescue you? Or turn around and say, well, you know, the effort and the time might not be worth it. It doesn't matter. We're here to help. We're here to do whatever is humanly possible to try to help that animal, that child, that woman get out of a bad situation and get into a better situation and go on with their lives. We feel compelled to defend those who can't defend themselves. It's not something we do. It's just, it's, it's who we are. You know, some people say, wow, you're... You know, you can you consider this a blessing. It's not a blessing. It's more like a curse because we can't go we can't go a day without doing something or or putting ourselves in harm's way or having a problem or something like that. That is very dangerous. A lot of people don't understand this. They think it's all you know, people taking pictures of you and, and the people saying hello to you and, and people saying thank you. It's not. Ninety nine percent of the time, we're in a really bad situation in really bad circumstances, trying to help somebody, an animal, a child, or a woman, getting out of a really bad situation. And, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of times there is no thank you, there is no pictures, there's no cameras. A lot of times people take pictures of us, yes, but more than not, they don't. You know, we, we do a tremendous amount of work behind the scenes that people don't even know about. Very good, great. Any final thoughts or messages that you want to send out to the dog-loving and cat-loving public? Um, just uh, don't don't go out there and, and try to rescue everyone. Try, you know, do what you can. Try to rescue one animal at a time. And a rescue isn't a rescue until you get that animal out of a bad situation and get him into a forever home. So rescue animals one animal at a time, and, and you'll make the world a better place on your own. Abuses are losers. Well, thanks, guys. I really appreciate your help. It's been uh, amazing interacting with you again. Westminster now, and you never know where we're going to go in the future. Am I? Dr. Patrick Mahaney signing off.